What's going on guys? I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how Spock makes the mean bass in the second half of the drop of his track, Four Eyes. It's a really cool sound, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, just that little bit, I shit you not, is the exact same sound. And if you guys like that sound, make sure you guys do me a favor by either clicking that one subscribe button if you're new here because it's not even doing me a favor it's doing yourself a favor because we literally have the best serum tutorials on youtube oh my gosh i keep reminding you guys that are already subscribed so i'm sorry if you guys have to go through this every single video so i might cut that out soon <laughs> but anyways yeah also like the video if you know it just helps me out helps do a favor for me but if you don't want to it's all good so let's go ahead and jump right into the sound it's actually very simple to make um so let's go ahead and start off with oscillator a and oscillator b we're gonna be running frequency modulation all right um so first things first was i said we're gonna be running frequency modulation so we're gonna turn on fm from b let's just go ahead and start to turn this up a bit I kind of like the tone around here. Um, so we're going to drop the level of oscillator B all the way down to 0%. That gives us a nice meaty sound here. Um, we're not really meaty, but you know, it does sound kind of thickened up a little bit. And we're going to turn up the octave up too. Boom. Now we're starting to get that metallic presence into the sound. Even though the sound itself doesn't sound that metallic, we just kind of want it for... Um, to kind of give us a nice pitch offset because the original sound does sound like really metallic-y. It doesn't sound like your typical metallic bass, but it sounds like it has a very metallic property to it. Um, but yeah, it sounds really cool. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start off by modulating the level actually. And uh, I just did a little something something like this. It's all up to you guys, you know. Um, the point of this isn't to be actually recreating his exact sound. Um, I want you guys, because come on, you don't want to be him. You want to be your own producer, so might as well make it however you want it to be, correct? Am I wrong? Oh yeah, so I'm going to turn this down to like, the rate isn't a huge deal. You could turn this to whatever you want as well. And now into Oscillator B's warp selection, we're gonna select our sync, all right? So let's start to turn this up a bit. And just by modulating the sync, it gives us that funky sound that it actually has in the original track. Um, I'm not sure if he modulated this, but you know, it does help it sound a lot more similar to the, to the original sound. So let's take a listen. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Okay, that is sounding fat, all right? No, not really, but we're getting somewhere. Let's turn on the filter, and we're going to go ahead and go into our reverb. Miscellaneous, and we're going to select a reverb. Let's begin to turn on the cutoff. Okay, we're going to drop the resonance. And we're believe it or not, we're actually going to be modulating the cutoff. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. No, nah, I'm just kidding. That sounds like garbaggio. So we're going to turn this down a bit. As you can hear, two different kind of tones here. You guys can mess around. I'll leave it going up. Um, probably around from like 64 hertz to what is that? Like 67. So um, not a huge dif difference here. Actually, I'm kind of feeling... We'll make it modulate downwards. Um, but yeah, that's really it for the reverb selection, except we could jump the drive if we want. And that's going to boost the master. So uh, yeah, let's get into the effects section here. Very, very simple. Um, first things first, if you guys listen to the sound, it sounds like, it's hard to describe. If you guys know what a notch filter sounds like, you're going to, you're going to know that this bass was most likely using a notch filter right because it's it has a very distinct property all right um or a very distinct sound that it produces uh really it's just like this kind of shape it's a negative peak and it's just going all across the equalizer so let's take a listen so now that you guys hear the effect that it does if you guys ever use massive you have definitely used this because massive only has like 
five filters, I think, six filters. And I, I think I use this on like every sound. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be modulating this backwards. Okay, that's starting to sound fat. And it starts to sound a lot more like the original track. It almost sounds like one of the sounds that Zeta would use, or Zeta, whatever, uh, however they pronounce their name. Uh, let's go ahead and turn into our hyper dimension. We're gonna turn on the mix. It's low size, high mix, not too many technical um, terminology behind this. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our multiband compressor. Maybe turn up the gain. Finally, we're gonna slap on a fat delay here. Um, we're gonna turn up the feedback, turn up the mix, and we're gonna turn link on, BPM sync off, and we're gonna turn this bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, all right, not bad boy, all right? We're gonna turn this down quite a bit. And that's literally how I make the bass. Of course, you can fool around. But yeah, that's all it comes down to. If you guys like that sound, make sure you guys do me a favor by one. No, I'm not gonna go through it again. But anyways, that should wrap up today's video. Uh, without further ado, I will catch you guys. All right, my name is Shane Gregoire, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you, that you guys like this tutorial. I'm just a little bit sleepy right now, so I'm not like as hyped up with the energy that I normally am, so. I apologize. It is my apologies. All right. <laughs> I, I had enough of this. <laughs>